Tony was 24 when he passed away. <laughs> All he wanted was to meet my son, and he wanted to play with my daughter, and we just didn't believe him. And I feel like we kind of robbed him from what he wanted. And I didn't mean for it to be that way. I just wanted to be a good big sister. I wanted him to be better. The souls I work with are happily resting on the other side. They're in a good place. It's usually the living that's struggling, that's having a really hard time of letting go and moving forward. I'm so mad at myself for not believing him. I so wish I could take that back and just tell him how much I love him. You have a male contemporary who's passed. He's very playful. And he wants me to tell you he, in a million years, would not be doing this if he were alive. He also wants me to talk about, do you know any Anthony? Who's Anthony? My brother. Your brother. And is Anthony passed on? Yes. Okay. <laughs> when I was sitting getting my hair and makeup done, I kept saying, who's Anthony? Who's Anthony? He won't leave me alone. Well, good thing he won't leave me alone because he wants to be here. Did he um, put himself in the situation? Was this at all um, an overdose with his passing? Everybody thought it was. Okay. What he keeps showing me is wanting to help his living loved ones find the same sense of closure and peace that he has found, because the last thing he wants is to be a burden to you. You need, you must find um, resolution around his passing if you are to fully show up for everyone who needs you. I just wanna know if he's upset with me.